Hi, and welcome to Cookie Table. Today we're going to create a table that um, allows us to work with multiplication and um, equal sum and different kinds of adding when uh, our things are, our calculations aren't right next to each other. So let's take a look at Cookie Table. Um, here, you will see that there's two different pictures that I've included in the assignment. One is kind of the end result that I'm looking for that's going to be right here. The other is going to be where you're first going to set it up. So first and foremost, you're going to create your own Google Sheet and you're going to retype everything. Yes, I know, retype everything. Why? Because I want it to be consistent. So make sure that you have the exact same prices, you are using... Um, kind of the exact same format. It doesn't have to be the exact color, but it does need to have the exact kind of information. And then we will work, or you will work, on the totaling and the subtotaling of those columns. So let's go ahead and split our screen. So here is the sample um, that I gave you over here, and you can click on this preview link. And what that does is it shows you the end result. Now, please don't copy the totals and the subtotals because those are going to be things that you're going to have to um, use calculations with, meaning use like an equal sum or equal multiply, um, that kind of thing. And then also it's included with some notes so that every line you have an idea of what's going on. So let's go ahead and click on this preview. And again, this just shows you kind of what your end result should look like. Um, you can use different colors. You can use anything you want. I would suggest first just starting out typing, then worry about the calculations, um, or start typing, worry about formatting, and then do the calculations. But first and foremost, just type everything that's on this list. So let's go ahead and open up a Google Sheet here. And this will be a blank Google Sheet. I usually find it in my Google Drive first, or go to my Google Drive, open up the folder for my class, and go New, and Google Sheet. And this is gonna be a cookie table, so you can put your name, and then cookie table. So I don't provide the sheet for you. You have to create this all on your own. And I'm gonna drag this off, and so that way I have two um, screens here so I can kind of copy. Oops, where's my preview? There's my preview. So first and foremost, I need my name um, at A1. So I'm going to put, you should put your name, the date, this is 11-6, and then I'm going to go to skip a few lines, And go to, um, I'm at A5. You could be um, a few other places. Just skip a few lines after the date. And um, then we're going to type in Aunt Lucy's Baked Goods. I'm not going to worry about formatting quite yet. I just want to do all my typing. So then I'm going to have holiday sales. Analysis helps to spell. And then I'm going to skip a line and then do tap, oops, colors. Um, then I'm going to have price, quantity, and total. Now I can look at my um, preview or this finished one and I can see that column A is wider. So you want to go up to um, the columns between A and B, look where my mouse is here. I'm gonna click and I'm just gonna drag it so it's a little bit wider. Plus I know that my names of my cookies and pies are gonna be quite big. So notice how it makes it a little bit wider. Next, I'm gonna put cookie boxes. And then I'm gonna do um, crunchy well, that should be walnut, delights, almond, um, chocolate, crunch, gingerbread, macadamia nuts,
nut shoes, marshmallow, snowballs. Then it looks like I skipped a line um, for subtotals, so I'll keep that one blank. I'll go to pies here and then chocolate chip pie, pumpkin. Oops. It's like I just deleted something. So this should be pies. I forgot. Oops, I didn't spell chocolate chip pie. Pumpkin, cherry, okay. And then I'm gonna skip another line for my subtotals at some point. I'm gonna put cakes and then double, touch, and fruit cake. Then I'll skip a line here for my subtotal up another line and then go to um, total holiday sales and I'll eventually make that bigger okay now I want my price so my price is going to be eight dollars and 95 cents if I want to repeat that I'm just going to go to this little blue square click oops go to this little blue square see how I have 895 highlighted I'm going to go to that little blue square at the bottom right I'm going to click my mouse it's going to be a plus sign, and I'm just going to drag that down. I'm just repeating, so I might as well just click and drag. Um, and then the next one for pies is going to be chocolate chip pies, and it helps to spell, so spelling pies is going to be important. And that one's $12.95. So I'm just going to repeat that. Hold my um, mouse down on that blue square. And then cakes is going to be 14 95 and I can just repeat that too. You notice that it deals with money so I'm going to highlight this whole column with my mouse and I'm going to do dollar sign so I'm going to go to this dollar sign right here click on it and it makes it money. Next I have quantity so this is really important to double check your work so it looks like I have 543, 432, 399, 325, 275. Then I'm going to, oops, I think I missed one here. Oh, I know. I needed to drop down a box here. Okay. This should be centered. So cookie boxes is an actual type of cookie. So my mistake. I should go start at row 10. So it should be 543, 432, 399, 325, 275. Perfect. And then I'm going to go to chocolate chip pies before 27, 324, and 231. And then I'm going to go down to double Dutch chocolate. They'll be 375 and 225. All right. Now I can do some formatting. I'm going to merge row five all the way over to column D. To merge, I gotta find the merge button. It's gonna be the square with the two arrows. I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna center, oops, center that. And I might put a border underneath. Then I'm gonna do holiday analysis, sales analysis. I'm gonna also merge that row and make it center. I can make Aunt Lucy a color if I want, but I'm definitely gonna make her name a little bit bigger and maybe bold there. Okay, top sellers, I'm gonna center those. So I'm gonna highlight that row, row eight, and go up to horizontal align and center that. I'm gonna also make it a color, so I'm gonna go to the paint can. You can make it any color you want. Maybe I make it purple, and maybe I make it bold, and then I'm gonna border that whole thing. So I'm gonna go to borders and do this outer borders one. Cookie boxes, I'm gonna center in column A, and I'm gonna make it italic and maybe make it a different color, the font. So I'm gonna go to this A text color and maybe make it red. I'm gonna do the same with pies, make it center and make it red so it's consistent and italic. And then same with cakes, red, center, oops, and italic. Okay. So it's so far looking good. 
Here now, I need subtotals. So I'm, I'm actually going to type in the word subtotals for cookie taxes. And I'm in row 15. Okay. You'll notice that it is far over, almost hitting the total column. So I'm going to highlight row 15, and I'm going to go all the way to quantity. So column C, and I'm going to merge those. And then I'm going to right align it there. And then I'm also going to make that a color. You can make it any color you want. I'm going to use the paint, the bucket. I'm going to make it a lighter color. Oh, maybe even lighter yet. Maybe make it pink. And I'm going to italicize it and make it bold. I'm going to do the same thing for pies. So it's sub total um, pies. And that's going to be row for 20. I'm going to, oops. Undo. I'm going to highlight that row 20 all the way to quantity. I'm going to merge them. I'm going to right align now, go all the way over here. So it pushes it all the way over almost to the total column. I'm going to give it a color. So I'm fill color and I'm going to make it pink. I'm going to italicize it and make it bold. And then finally, I'm going to do the same thing, sub total for cakes. I'm going to merge that cell with A, B, and C. I'm going to make it pink. I'm going to merge it here if I didn't do that. I'm going to make it right align. I'm going to make it bold and italics. All right. So the only thing left is total holidays. I'm going to make that center. And I'm going to make it nice and big here. So I also probably want to make this column a little bit bigger. There we go. All right, so we're almost there. The only thing we have to do is now the totals. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to go here under total, and I'm going to multiply. So I need to multiply the price times the quantity. And to do that, I'm going to use the formula equals. And then I'm going to click on the first number I want to multiply. So that's 895, or B10, if you will the cell. I'm going to use the multiplication sign, which is shift eight. It's the little star. So notice that star right there. And then I'm going to click on the second number that I want to multiply. So it's going to be C10 or 543. I'm going to hit enter. Looks about right. I'm going to do the same thing. Equals first cell I want to multiply times shift eight to get the multiplication sign. The second number, 432. Hit enter. Perfect. And I'm going to do the same thing. Oops. Sorry, if you make that mistake, you can just undo. Command, or sorry, Control Z to undo. Otherwise, just retype it 895, my fault. So equals and then this times that. I'm going to do the same thing for pies. So equals this times that. And you notice if you've got a um, pattern here, so I've got that multiplication pattern, I can do a shortcut, click on this blue box right here, hold my mouse down, and drag, and it will fill it in. I'm not going to fill in subtotals for pies. I'm just doing the price times the quantity. And I'm going to do the same thing for here. And this one I can do with just a multiplication sign. All right, now I need subtotals. It looks like I didn't fill this with color, so let's go ahead and do that. Should be pink. And I'm going to do the subtotals. And the subtotals are adding up. So I'm just adding up the cookie boxes. So I'd use equal sum. Um, opening parenthesis, and I'm going to just highlight this. Hit enter. Perfect. I'm going to go now to pies and make sure that's a color. Equal sum, opening parenthesis. Equal sum, opening parenthesis, or shift 9. Highlight the numbers I want to add up. Hit enter, and that looks correct. And then I got cakes, so I'm going to pick the pink here. And then I'm going to type equal sum, opening parenthesis, 
highlight that, and enter. All right, they all look good. Now I just need the total. I'm gonna put the total right underneath here. Um, it's going to be following column 26. And then I'm gonna pick and choose which numbers I add. So I'm gonna do equals. And then I'm gonna pick the first number I'm gonna add, and that's gonna be the subtotal for cookie boxes. So I click on that, and that should be, for me, D15. I'm gonna hit um, the plus sign. So that's over by the, uh, above the equal sign, so I'll shift in the equal sign to get the plus sign. Then I'm gonna click on the second number I wanna add, which is 12,000. Then I'm gonna hit the plus sign, and click on the third one. The reason why we're using the plus sign instead of equal sum is because they're not in order. Um, I have to pick and choose those three. I'm not just highlighting a whole column. So enter, that looks about right. Awesome, so now I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger. Again, make sure it's 18, so they're nice and bold. Uh, maybe make this column a little bit bigger. Whoops. So I'm gonna make this column a little bit bigger there. And then I'm also going to put a border around my total. So I'm just going to highlight that, go to my borders, and do an outer border. And that's it. That's holiday sales for you. When you're done, you're going to get a shareable link. You're going to go to share, change link to Sagatuck Public Schools, copy, and then go into Schoology and submit the assignment. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Good luck, and I hope you enjoy.